US President Joe Biden has addressed the Democratic National Convention in Chicago, speaking on his political legacy and endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris. Hillary Clinton and other prominent Democrats also took the stage. Ms Clinton saying the US was close to breaking the glass ceiling. Today, former President Barack Obama will headline the convention, where he is set to deliver a forceful affirmation for Ms Harris. It was Ashley Biden who ushered her father, the American president, into the convention that he had so bitterly believed should have been his crowning moment. It was always going to be emotional for the Bidens, for the Democratic Party, and so it was. The chance of We Love Joe that went on for four minutes. They cheered the man who carried this party to victory over Donald Trump four years ago the man they just believed would not be able to do it again. I made a lot of mistakes in my career, but I gave my best to you. For 50 years, like many of you, I've given my heart and soul to our nation. Well, he had hoped, he had believed that he would be the headline, not the warm-up. But any bitterness he has about being forced aside, it's not been on show. As for the crowd here, for them, this is about thanking him for more than half a century in politics. It was a speech highlighting what he believes to be his achievements, but the framing was we, not me. When I say we, I mean Kamala and me. There were his familiar warnings about what he believes to be the existential threat of a second Trump term, but he balanced it with messages of hope and achievement. MAGA Republicans found out the power of women in 2022. And Donald Trump is going to find out the power of women in 2024. The night had started with the next generation, the sole children of Chicago and the star-spangled banner to begin this star-studded convention. It's hard to believe that all of this, those new faces, new energy, has all come together in a few short weeks. This is going to be a great week. And I want to kick us off by celebrating our incredible president, Joe Biden. This first night was not about her, but about the man who put her here by agreeing to step aside. And those who were instrumental in that push, like Nancy Pelosi, were here now to salute President Biden for passing the baton. But before he would speak, the person who couldn't manage what Kamala Harris thinks she now can, Hillary Clinton. She cracked that glass ceiling, and to Roars, she said now is the moment to break it. On the other side of that glass ceiling is Kamala Harris raising her hand and taking the oath of office as our 47th president of the United States. And so the baton has now been passed. The job he thought he could do is now in the hands of the vice president beating the opponent who is now hers, not his. Doubts about her ability, her winability, may persist privately, but here, for now, no sense of it. Mark Stone, Sky News in Chicago.